the morning. And it's dropping down to 46. It's going to be a good cold front. Plus, we got this hurricane approaching at the same time. So I'm going to go hit the woods in the morning. I think it's going to be pretty productive. What's going on, everybody? Brian here, Carolina Bushwhacker. Right, I'm going to keep this short here on this intro. So we had a cool front come through last night. It's down to 51 degrees. We got Hurricane Ian pushing in on us. So I'm gonna get down here this morning and see if I can catch something slipping through. He came up behind me, I wasn't looking. Man, he came down and I was looking over there. And I turned around and looked and he's just standing there. And of course the wind's blowing this way. Man, I could have, I could have shot him. I'll catch up with him later, I always do. Well, what a morning. Well, you can't kill them all. <laughs> so I was in the stand there, and that stand's in the middle of the crossroads where everything comes through there from every direction. So I stand up in that stand, and I just pivot my head like an owl. And I'm constantly looking all the way around me at all times because I kill deer from all four directions. And well, I looked in one direction for a few seconds, and then uh, I looked back, and he done snuck up on me. He actually came in downwind, which I wasn't expecting, but when I turned around and I looked at him, I said, man, it ain't going to be but a split of a second, and he's going to win me, which he did. So instead of trying to grab the crossbow and getting a shot, I made a decision to cut the camera on and grab a little footage of him, but I did put the camera down, and grabbed the crossbow when he went to the opposite side of the tree, hoping maybe dumb luck would fall on my side and maybe he would stop and give me the shot opportunity, but he didn't stop until he got to the other side, which was pretty far out of bow range, about 75 yards. And then I noticed on the camera, looking back at the video, that he's got some really tall eye guards, brow tines, and then I also noticed He's got a throat patch. Now, he's not the biggest buck. I'm going to say he's probably three and a half years old. But uh, that double throat patch, man, I, I'm probably going to stick him or, or shoot him with the gun when rifle season rolls around if uh, I see him again. Or the landowner may take him. I don't know. Or the other fellow that hunts with us. But, uh, well, we'll see how all that unfolds. Well, if you're not subscribed and you want to know how it all unfolds, hit that subscribe button. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Keep on keeping up with me now.